fuck hit, bro. Let's see what this shit about. I don't know why, but I just got a bad vibe. I I'm not obligated to, and I le I can't afford to. Guess what? Doesn't matter. You can't just tell me I have two. Okay, hold on. I have two weeks to find somewhere to live. I'm about to. What? I didn't even know there was such thing as schizophrenic attack. I didn't even know that. Please subscribe. Help me find somewhere. I don't have much time. Weeks to find. No, I don't have much time. Is, 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 that's not funny, but that's mad funny. Because what? It sounds like you got a terminal illness and you about to get up out of here. Like, that, oh, shit. I laughed at that. I got a sick sense of humor, bro. Anybody that anybody that laughs, you got a sick sense of humor, and you need to f you need to check yourself into the nearest mental hospital. Fucking piece of shit. I'm not laughing. Find somewhere. Why is she fake crying? You've had over a month. And no, you haven't. Look, I you have done, done nothing but hair. dig your heels in and try and make me feel bad about you. No, I haven't. Back. I've been trying to educate you. No. Fake crying is crazy. Try to educate you is mad funny. Your education is brainwashing. No, it's not. You just won't listen to me. No, I'm not gonna listen to this crap. Now you talk. I have schizophrenia. I don't care what you have. Oh yeah, she's sick of your shit. She's sick of your shit. You don't pull that card too many times. Let's keep it a bean. You pulled that card too many times. Let's keep it a bean. You know how I know you pulled that card too many times. If you tell somebody you got a mental illness and somebody say, I don't give a fuck, they either heard it too many times, you said it too many times, or, or you just been such a dickhead that niggas is not trying to jack that no more. I'm telling you, those are the only three options. Anybody that's a decent human being is going to be like, yo, that's crazy. You know what I'm saying? And, and kind of give you a pass to a degree. To a degree. First time around, first time offenders, niggas might give you a pass. Ah, uh, mm, all right. Don't. <laughs> it doesn't mean we God, live in so squalor. And it doesn't mean you're a bully. You, I'm not even a bully. You literally yeah, look dead at the me. switch up. Oh, you dead me is fucking crazy. Yo. Me, misgender me and tell me that. Yeah, my son on a, uh, my son preach is not for a peep to, peep You dead me, me, misgender me. As soon as he heard detonate, he was like, man, get this shit off my. And tell me that. Apparently it's not clear to people that I am mentally and physically disabled. I can't just go out and get a fucking job. Apparently, I have to remind people that we're in the middle of the people have been asking for updates, and I'm going to update and also clear some things up. Apparently, it's not clear to people that I am mentally and physically disabled. If you're in the age of being able to live alone, mm -hmm. and you live with your parents, and you nag them, and you nag them, mm -hmm. and you nag them, it's a possibility that eventually they will kick you out. That's a fact. That being said, niggas is at the age where you will get kicked out, bro. Move accordingly. Come on, son. Especially if you niggas is not taking care of what I gotta take care of. Yeah. I'm gonna give you a. In certain households, households you will not get kicked out. It will take very extreme cases for you to get kicked out. African households, you will get your ass kicked out, but it take again extreme. Caribbean households, you can get your ass kicked out, but usually extreme, depending on who's who and how you move. You know what I mean? Because Certain people said Spanish household, you know what I'm saying? It, it, even black households to a certain degree. Even white people don't have, I mean, come on. So it takes certain it, certain spots and it's certain parents as well. I'm not even going to just say traditional wise. It takes certain certain kind of person to kick you out. And I feel like that all depends, maybe not all the time, but a lot of the times it depends on you, bro. What the fuck are you doing to get kicked out, bro? Things just grown. First of all, right now, the economy is crazy. Getting a one, I don't know where y'all live. I live in Jersey. Getting a one bedroom is no less than, no less than tw anywhere between twelve to like seventeen hundred, bro. No less than that. You feel me? So, for you to be moving Aki, you want to get kicked out right now, bro. It's cold. It's the winter time. It's the winter. You niggas is bugging. Get a job. Save your money. Stay home as long as possible. I don't give a fuck if you can afford it. Cool. Have a plan. Make sure you got a plan. Because that's another thing. You got just moving out because Willie and got I want to move out. Of course. Do I have the funds? No. Can I take care of myself indefinitely for the next set amount of years? Because once I feel like once I move out, I don't want to come back. So I'm going to put a plan in order. I'm about to do YouTube, the streaming shit. You feel me? What I want to do. I'm about to work, save my money, pay shit off, get my put my money in the right places, and then I'm out. I'm going to move out when appropriate.
So I mean, you can set a time for yourself. That's cool. Third and at thirty, you want to move out. Twenty eight, you know what I'm saying? Something reasonable. But all that just moving out for the sake of, sake of having your own shit right now. You niggas will end, y'all will end up going out there and fucking y'all credit up, and then y'all gonna have to stay home for the next twenty years. You know what I'm saying? To get your shit back in order. So let's take it easy. It's not because you are mentally ill. It excuses you from everything. It, it doesn't. Your, your illness is not an excuse for everything. I cannot be Certainly. a jackass to this man, and after that, claim it on, hey, you know what? I'm mentally ill. No, Sersky. At some point, I'm going to have to do something about it. Yep. At some point, I'm going to have to do something about it, and... Just stop being a terrible person, bro. Just because you got a mental illness, just because you got... uh. Uh, 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 a handicap in life, bro, doesn't mean, or, or you're extra, you're, uh, you're in a group that may be not as, accept, as accepted in society. It's not mean that you can then turn around and just be an asshole for the sake of being an asshole, bro. Because niggas are still going to call you an asshole. Not to be a problem to even people. With or not to be a burden to or people. whatever you want to say. You understand what I'm saying? Third thing that I'm going to say, the mom said, oh, you're not allowed to be a bully and everything and stuff and stuff like that. That's what I've been founding Every community that's been ostracized, being exercise, that's the they eventually become a bully. Yeah, to a degree. They sure. eventually become a bully. We could name the community; it's going to be that. Whether it's uh, women with feminism at first needed, then become a bully. Hmm? Whether it's become the community first, <laughs> need <laughs> the community. We know what you're talking about. I ain't gonna lie, we know what you're talking about. Then you become a bully. That's why your mama kicked your ass out. On the point of this topic. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you the spicy take. This is a spicy take. Go ahead. I talk don't even think me. she got schizophrenia. Listen, oh, I'm gonna be honest with you, just listening to her talk and her going through that whole thing. I think some people just love the whole mental health label. I didn't wanna go there! I'll go there. Yeah, I don't yeah. give a fuck. Yeah. yeah. New year, new me. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna lie. And new year, new me is crazy. I ain't gonna lie. I be hearing mad people calling out these different disorders, these different mental illnesses. Oh, yeah, I'm mentally ill. Oh, yeah, I got a men mental health. Oh, I'm mental health. Yo, 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 bro. Were you diagnosed? Are you self-diagnosing yourself? Are you a doctor? Do you go to a doctor? Do they give you, like, do they actually, you know what I'm saying? Come on, son. I feel like it's it's the norm now. And I'm not going to sit here and say, like, every, like no, everybody is mentally okay. I'm, I'm pretty sure you, we all have trauma, bro. Trauma is one thing, you know what I'm saying? That's one thing. But for y'all to y'all be y'all be some y'all be dragging it, some y'all be dragging it. Pay for me, bitch. Y'all be dragging it, bro. I say I don't think she do. I don't think she got it. That's you. I don't care. That's you. I think people like all kinds of layers. I've seen people fucking claim the autism thing with bro. zero diagnoses because it's cool to be autistic. Bro. Okay, listen, I'm not joking. There is something very bizarre with people wanting to claim illnesses and issues that they don't have. It's been it's going like the insane. Rachel Dolezal thing. Yes. You need to be like, yeah, that thing. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, you got it right. All right, but let's let's speed this up. It's it's a thing right now. Yo. I ain't gonna lie, yo. I can't speak. It. It's a thing right now, yo. That's that's what's going on. I don't know what that shit is about, but that's what's going on. I have some thoughts on this as a mentally and physically disabled person. This person uploaded a video screaming at their parent because they wanted four weeks notice when they are not obligated to get that because they are not paying rent to live there. They use the excuse of being mentally and physically disabled to not be able to get a job. Let's talk about that. I myself am physically and mentally disabled. I've gotten four jobs during the pandemic. And before anyone says it's because I live in a big city, I got two of those jobs in a very tiny city with under 3,000 people. Yes, disabilities can be debilitating, and that's what they are, disabilities. Which sometimes mean you can't always work, and that's fine. But from what she said, I know personally tons of people that work with the disabilities that they have. Using disabilities to be completely rude to random people or your parents or family is not okay. And it's definitely not okay to use your disability as an excuse to not pay rent wherever you're living. It's been going on for ages because I remember when I was in elementary school, there's some people... Man, listen. No, not the cut, not the cut preach off, man. But look, listen. Moral of this story, bro. I don't, I don't know what, what, what would you gain? Maybe sympathy. And I don't want to go there. Fuck it, we gonna go there. It be white people. It was a clip I was watching. White people. Uh, this, 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 this woman said, 
Oh my goodness, her quote was so fucking crazy. She said some shit along the lines of white people uh 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 cannot colonize fucking like bro 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 they cannot colonize like trauma or like not trauma they cannot colonize fucking oh man that shit was so fucking i should have saved the fucking video bro they basically make social injustice they oh they can't cannot can't colonize social injustices so they colonize shit like mental health as like their own so like oh yeah i'm mentally and it works. It, it becomes their social currency, bro. Prime example. Your mom your mom probably been telling you, say, yo, you been on some bullshit. Ah, oh, your pops or whatever been saying some crazy shit about you. And you like, yo, get it together. You feel me? Because I'm about to kick you out. You got to sit in my room. And she's like, oh, yeah, I got schizophrenia. Just to, like, social currency. Because they know, like, you might feel sympathy for her or some shit like that. But at the same time, that's, like, that's that's their weapon, bro. That They weaponize that shit when it's convenient. Any other occasion, are they going to say that shit? No. <laughs> For sympathy, are they going to say that shit? Yes. And they get caught dead doing some crazy shit, and, and, and they can't really get out of it, they can't back out of it, what do you think they're going to say? They got a crazy, men they're mentally ill. <laughs> you think they won't? Are you fucking mad, bro? Are you insane? You're sick in the mind if you think otherwise. And it's cool. You feel me? You just got to know who you're dealing with and what's going on. At the end of the day, though, I think it's It's crazy. If you have not, there's actually people out here that's been diagnosed with this kind of thing, bro. You don't, you don't play with. It's certain shit you just don't play with. You know what I mean? Uh, hopefully that the young lady, if she is indeed, hopefully she gets the help that she deserves. Because again, I don't know her. And for the young lady that just made a comment explaining about how even even with her shit, even with her uh disability, she still, you know what I'm saying, get shit done. Shout out to her because I'm pretty sure that is mad hard. You know how hard it. My, I don't have a physical. I don't have a disability. At least I don't think so. And it's still mad hard sometimes to get jobs out here, yo. Thankfully, I got a, a set job right now, but yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? Just, just be nice to people. Show love. Be respectful. And, uh, just, just, just. <laughs> get niggas hugs sometimes. Go talk to somebody. Go talk to the homeless person. You know what I'm saying? The random person. You know what I'm saying? It's, just show love. That's it. That's, that's, that's the message today, man. Let me know how y'all feel about this shit, though. Uh, y'all got any updates? Y'all been watching this on TikTok? <laughs> Get in the comments, man. Talk to me.